There's a wealth of folkloric stories regarding the highway of life, a pathway to enlightenment and true meaning. This would not be one of those stories. Mine is a story of back alleys scarred with potholes, littered with debris and leaky dumpsters. A sudden need for cash led me to start driving for companies like Lyft and Uber. The gig economy, be your own boss, name your own hours, meet some interesting people. maybe jam a stick in my eye, but I digress. You've probably heard a few stories about drivers who weren't exactly running on all cylinders. Hey man, where are we tripping to today? Hey, oh wait, are we there already? Oh hello, uh, where are we going again? <clears throat> yeah, what? By most standards, I was one of the more balanced drivers with mostly five star ratings. Still, I had my fair share of bumps in the road. These are the best investment I've ever made. <laughs> the boys just love me. <laughs> if stupid ever had a face, this is it. I know Rock's smarter than these two. All right, Sunday fun day, dude. Hmm, enlightening. One of those Rocks just called and wants his brain back. We're not going far. Wet t-shirt contest down at the Shore Club. Woohoo! Hmm, not going far. That's great. Another $3.20. What am I going to do with all that money? <laughs> so where are we going? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, but can we stop at Taco Bell? I really... <clears throat> I need to eat something. Poor thing would have been better off born as a plant. You know, I really don't get paid to wait. Well, you know, I have a friend who works for Uber and she gets paid to wait, okay? And you know what? She makes a lot of money and I can't believe Technically, that. Technically, she's right. The These companies pay me 15 cents a minute to wait for like ground feral dog meat at Taco Bell or their friend to say goodbye for the 10th fucking time. Or to go back and get something they forgot. Oh, Let's say Taco Girl here can pound back a taco in four minutes. That's 60 cents. You know what 60 cents buys you? A daily newspaper in a place you don't want to live. A Hershey bar if it's on sale at Walmart. One ticket to a turtle sex show. A box of rocks, shipping's not included. A little more than half a song on iTunes, a microscopic piece of my mind, and this girl's entire sense of social awareness. Actually, you're right, but I don't get paid enough. So get out of the car, sugar britches, and take a walk. You could use the exercise. <laughs> Too harsh? Eh, maybe. But what's really harsh is putting up with Taco Girl's need to stuff her face while trying to make a living wage. A minimum ride pays four bucks. Lyft and Uber take 20% of that. So I end up with $3.20. Maybe I should just get a root canal while I'm at it. Between the right companies making bank off the drivers and socially challenged passengers, I've gotten a first-hand look at society's selfish indifference towards others. And it's not pretty. An average ride takes seven minutes to arrive, two minutes to wait for the passenger, because even though they're supposed to be curbside waiting, they rarely are. And another seven minutes before drop-off. That's $3.20 for 16 minutes of my time. On the high end, I might make a whopping 12 bucks an hour. And that's just wrong. I've had more fun at a funeral. Throwing the cost of gas, car payments, insurance, wear and tear on your car, and most importantly, wear and tear on your soul. Effectively, you're making the same money, or less than, an immigrant farm worker with a lot more aggravation. No bueno. This is why most drivers attempt to drive in surge zones. From a passenger's point of view, surge pricing has always been a hot-button issue. Horror stories of Uber's surge pricing are infamous. Ah! 
drivers, on the other hand, are constantly playing a game of whack-a-mole, trying to get in the zone. The moment you arrive, the surge moves to another part of town, sometimes just across the street, but by the time you get there, it's changed again. And the customers, at least the sober ones, have figured out how to play the game. Did you call the car? I called the car. It's surging. It's surging. Give it a few minutes. We'll give it a few minutes. Or they just move out of the zone. Surging sucks. I got it! <laughs> I wonder if I can make happy hour. Did I mention sober? Let's talk about the drunks. The one surefire way of making it pay, kind of. Weekend nights from 11 to 3 a.m. is when a fool and his money can be a driver's best friend. Surge pricing is virtually guaranteed. And people pay it gladly because they're drunk. Essentially, drunks come in three flavors. Super friendly. Oh, hey boyfriend, you are looking fine tonight. Meatheads. So where are we going? What's with the questions? Just drive. And uh, the overserved. <laughs> oh. Now the super friendlies are the best. They might be a little loaded, but they're basically harmless. And they can even be a little entertaining. I'm going to Moe's. Care to join me? You'll have a good time. Uh, thanks for the invite, bud, but I pitch for the other team. Enjoy yourself tonight. You know I will, honey. Let's go. The meatheads will. Look! Skanks! Where? They just went into that bar. I haven't seen skanks. Where are skanks? The spawn of chimpanzees. I don't put up with them. The overserved are the most dangerous. You don't know what they're gonna do, but if you're not careful, things can get messy real fast. I call it the late night barf party. Oh. <laughs> After a night with these knuckleheads, it's easy to see why one might view them as dark passengers. <laughs> yeah, you can make a lot more money on the weekend nights, but at a price. Sure. Lyft and Uber offer cleanup fees if your car's been baptized by some asshat's unholy hurlage. It still sucks. Have you ever tried to scrub the smell of vomit from your dashboard? Even if you're spared a passenger's projectile puking, at the end of the night, your earnings hardly justify the crap you've put up with. Search pricing aside, the customers are generally pretty happy with the current rates because, hey, who doesn't like a good deal on a Hershey bar at Walmart? Although companies present themselves as fun and driver-friendly, Hi. Their sentiments are about as real as these bad boys. Mommy. Lyft even gave me a glow stash to commemorate my 100th ride. I use it as a nightlight. Works great. <laughs> Yet if these companies care so much about the drivers, why are they investing in driverless cars? These guys are worth billions. You'd think they'd be able to share some of that cash with the people who actually earn it. I can already hear some uninformed shit for brains saying, If the drivers don't like it, they don't have to do it. Yo, until you've driven around the block in my shoes, shut the fuck up. Of course, many of my passengers were lovely, kind, thoughtful, well-behaved. They were human. How's your day going? Hey, man. Very nice, thank you. And yours? And some were just self-entitled college kids, blowing their parents' money on Molly booze and ass. Oh my god, Skrillex. I can't believe this is actually happening. Are you sure we're going to be able to get in? No worries, babe. The security dude and I are totally bros. Plus, I'm bringing them some goodies. <laughs> And some were just condescending dickheads. Make a U-turn, then right at the light. You do know how to follow direction, don't you? Yeah, she was special. I guess she didn't get the memo on treating others like you'd like to be treated. You know, we may be at different places in life, but we're all on the same road. App-enabled ride services are a great idea. Need a ride? You can get one. Just don't be a dick! Whoa! Where are you headed? I know, it's not always so easy. <laughs> <laughs>